you. So, uh, so he was like I say, he was very angry. You know what I'm saying? So then I left out of there, and I was like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking of the possibilities. It's because of what happened. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking, uh, and and also I was thinking to myself, my mind. That was my mind talking to him. I thought it was, you know what I'm saying, like God of the Holy Spirit when I was in the shower telling me that it was all good. He didn't look through the phone. My mind lied to me, you know what I'm saying? I was just my mind hoping that he didn't. But really, when I got out there, he had, you know what I'm saying? So uh, so then, so I, I walk, I'm walking out of there, you know what I'm saying? I'm walking through this, like, this hallway, and I see, and I see, like, I think, I, I don't know if I visualize it, but I'm just thinking, like, an angry mob of Muslim. Uh, angry mob of Muslims is going to be coming after me, you know what I'm saying, like, real bad because, you know what I'm saying, I freed one of they, one of they sons, you know what I'm saying, one of they, one of they kids, you know what I'm saying, I'm leading their kids, so if he, if that little boy, if that, if it happened for that little boy, then it can happen for other people, for other kids, you know, and other people too, just by the word, you know what I'm saying, not by, by, not by physical, but by the word of God, you know what I'm saying, the truth being revealed to the to these kids, you know, and these people. And uh and I was just thinking, shit, this is yeah, that's pretty messed up, but you know what I'm saying, like I say, I it's like I can't do nothing about it. You know, you make your bed, you lay in it, you know what I'm saying? If you care about these people, you know, guarantee some some bad shit probably gonna come your way. And um uh, so 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 then I'm so then I'm walking. It's like I start meeting different kind of people. It's like that, you know what I'm saying? That's in the back of my mind. But it's like I gotta keep living life. You know what I'm saying? I can't just dwell on that and fucking go on the corner. You know what I'm saying? Because people are gonna be after me now. So I uh, so I, I start walking and I, I see this this uh, this one yellow bone. You know what I'm saying? I know I start following her. And she was like leading me. She we we went downstairs. We went to through this door. It was daytime and. Um, you know what I'm saying? And then, then I went and I was walking to, I was still while I was walking, it was like a narrow path. It was like these uh, wooden blocks and it was apartments and it was grass and different stuff. And I was walking through and I was walking straight. It was like I had to, you know, it, if it's a drop off if I go to the left and, you know what I'm saying, it's like grass and stuff over there to the right, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still walking in the middle, like to where I won't be, uh, you know, so I won't be in no danger. I'm making sure I'm making careful steps and, you know, path I'm taking. I'm being careful walking it because it's a thin, thin line. And uh, so then I'm so, so I keep walking and then I end up climbing up these, uh, these stairs or whatever. And I end up getting on this balcony. And it's a black, you know, since a black balcony, uh, you know, black gated balcony or whatever. And so I, I get on that and, uh, and then I, I, I go forward to another one, and then I come back to the to that to that same one I just came to, but it was it wasn't sturdy enough, so I went on and got back on the other one. You know what I'm saying, the other balcony. Um, and then I went and ended up going to this guy's house. Uh, I ended up going into this guy's house, and I think this guy was a Muslim too, um, but he was a very peaceful Muslim, um, very uh, understanding, and uh, very friendly Muslim. And um, and so I was talking to him, and you know I just told him, uh, asking him some questions, you know, like what does he think about, you know, what just happened, you know, because I told him, you know, what happened with the little boy, and you know that I preached to him, and that he changed his mind, and I can't really remember our conversation too good, you know, but I just know that he was just he wasn't tripping at all, like he was a really, uh, like I say, peaceful Muslim, you know what I'm saying. So I think this is showing a diversity in Muslims, you know what I'm saying? That you have some that are angry, that are, you know, that want to, that are willing to sacrifice their children, you know what I'm saying, and live a lie, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, and kill people and kill their children and, you know what I'm saying, and suicide bombs, all that kind of stuff. You got those kind of Muslims, and then you got this, this one that I'm in this house with, you know, a very peaceful, calm, civilized Muslim that that's not wanting to, cause war to anybody, but it's a very peaceful man. And uh, so we talking, you know, having a good conversation. I could even call him my friend. He was cool. You know what I'm saying? He's a cool dude. And, uh, you know, after we finished talking, I can't remember everything uh, after we finished talking. I left from there. Uh, and the last part was I was traveling. It's all together, though. And um, I travel. I was traveling down my, uh, my street, you know what I'm saying, like my street, by my house right now, and uh, I was traveling in the car, it was daytime, and um, it was like, 
they was talking about this guy. I don't know what his name was. I don't know if his name was Petey or what. But he's uh, he 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 went to this this basketball tryout. You know what I'm saying? And like he it was like this dude from the hood, from my hood. You know what I'm saying? Was talking about the guy, and he was just saying he he was a bright skinned guy. About my complexion, he just had braids, and uh, and he just was like. That that this guy, you know what I'm saying, he knew that he was going to make it. You know what I'm saying? This guy from the hood, from his hood was talking about whoever this guy is, Petey, whatever his name is. And he was saying that, yeah, I knew he was going to make it. You know what I'm saying? I just knew he was. You know what I'm saying? I knew he was going to make it. You know what I'm saying? And I guess the guy had went to the tryout and made it. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so then it's like I was in this big, huge mall, and it, it was a tryout. You know what I'm saying? It was like uh, an NBA tryout or NBDL tryout. And... Uh, and I had finally got my opportunity to try out, you know what I'm saying, for the NBDL or the NBA. And uh, and so I went in there, you know what I'm saying, and I went upstairs, like, and got in line. It was like in this department store. It was a whole bunch of people there. And uh, so while I'm waiting, you know, in line, it was uh, people downstairs already playing. And, uh, and they, they, you know, on the court. And the court was made a little different than usual. It was like a court, but then it had, like, blockades, uh, big, huge cement blockades, like towards the left of the court, and uh, it was like a maze, an obstacle course. And so uh, the first guy got the ball, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that ran down court, and there was only two guys back there. And the first guy ran, I'm just watching him, you know what I'm saying? So the first guy, he ran, he got the ball, he ran, but he got scared right when he was supposed to, right when that barricade I was talking about on the left, right when that starts. He got scared about going around the corner, you know what I'm saying, and seeing what the, what's going on in this obstacle course, basically. Uh, and so he got scared, and so he went back, and uh, he he went he threw the ball back to this one guy, and so the other guy had to take the ball up, and um, that's that's all that was in that dream. And then I woke up, and when I went back to sleep, I had another dream. I had a dream that it was this guy in prison, and uh, and he was saying. My life, he was like, my whole life changed. He was like somebody, he, he was talking to somebody like he was telling a story. But he was saying, my whole life, and I can see it, though. He was like, my whole life changed when I met this snake. And it was this big, huge, like, nasty-looking red snake that was crawling right beside him. And, uh, and the guy was happy, you know what I'm saying? The guy was in prison, like I said. And then I th when I think about it, I think that uh, I think that the red snake, huge snake, was uh, was Satan. You know what I'm saying, the serpent of old. And um, I think this person was like the Antichrist. And the reason I say that is because you know this this Antichrist is to be released out of the out of the the bottomless pit. You know what I'm saying? Like he's he's locked up in the prison also until he's released. You know, uh, even if he, you know what I'm saying, even if he's already has a human body that's already chosen for him. He's he's gonna be released out of the out of prison, you know what I'm saying? And that's how he gonna come come into power, you know what I'm saying? I believe. I guess I'm not for sure on how that works. I don't know if he's already possessed the person or if he was born like that. But the Antichrist, I believe, is alive because of the time we're living in. Most definitely, he's a grown man. We don't know who he is, but he's a grown man for sure, and definitely in politics and def def definitely, you know. Um, somebody who can definitely be in a position of a world leader he's not going to come out of nowhere and just everybody believe it, they can be, trust and believe in him to have somebody it's going to be somebody that's respected you know what i'm saying somebody respected across the whole world as you know a figure that not people people not really against you know what i'm saying and uh feel like that he can he that they can trust him because he's going to make a peace treaty with israel you know what i'm saying i got a whole bunch of dreams. i'm going to start putting a, a lot of these dreams out here i have to you know what I'm saying? And uh, I think that's it, man. I think that's all I can remember right now. Uh, let me see. I had a dream this morning right before I woke up. That dream was uh, I was, like, in the seven-year tribulation. It's like at first I had the dream about the seven-year tribulation. I was talking to my friend, Kali, Christian friend. Uh, I was talking to my friend, Kali, about it. And then, it was like, I walked outside, and then it was like I seen it. You know what I'm saying? We was, like, in it. You know what I'm saying? And uh and it was like in the sky I seen a shark. You know what I'm saying? It was more the emphasis wasn't on the people in the seven year tribulation. It wasn't on the people that was there, but it, the events 
or the torture or the the bad circumstances that was going on there. It was a lot of supernatural things going on in the sky, in the water. You know what I'm saying? The water looked like gold or something. The ground looked gold. It was a big shark in the sky. It was just all kind of chaos going on. It wasn't, like I said, it wasn't really emphasis on the people. And, uh, and my friend Kylie, she was like, man, how you, she was like, you seem to know a lot about about what's going on right now. I was like, yeah, I was like, I have to dream about it, you know what I'm saying? So this is what, what I see. Uh, so like I say, uh, pray for me, because <laughs> I'm going to be saving these little kids, you know, through Jesus Christ. Um, I'm going to be saving these kids' souls because I can't just sit back and let little kids, little innocent kids go to hell for no reason. So I will be, um, I'll be definitely speaking the truth. This was one of those transition dreams. This was a dream that I, I've never had a dream like this, especially dealing with the Muslims uh, specifically. So I believe this is a prophecy from the Lord, you know, how he feels, what, what, and it's a great illustration because that's what really happens, you know what I'm saying? They train them, their kids, these Muslims train their kids from birth, you know what I'm saying, in order, I mean, to be killers, you know, to be kamikaze killers or whatever, you know, just blowing they cells up, they put bombs in their kids' di diapers and all that different kind of shit, you know. Kids be walking around with AKs, you know, they supposed to have books in their hands, man. They supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, living a living a a, a little kid life, you know what I'm saying? And believing in Jesus, man. Going to heaven, you know what I'm saying? So thank you, son. So alright, I'll holler at y'all later, man. I just wanna share that with y'all.